nobody's out here trying to allegedly mess up somebody's marriage that was already messed up but that's none of my business guys i bet nigeria will not forget anita brown in a hurry they will do <laughs> the video jump this one <laughs> Anyway, I guess you guys are not new to this story, but I'll be giving you a brief introduction. So Anita Brown is an American 29 years old social media influencer. Anita met David Doe in 2017 at a concert and they kicked off their affair. Though it has been on and off according to her because she lives in New York and um, David Doe is always traveling around. So Anita Brown called out David Doe on social media accusing him of impregnating her a few days ago and pressuring her to terminate the pregnancy. She shared very clear evidence on her page. Actually the whole story broke out first on um, Gis Lover's page. No one believed. Everyone was like David Doe cannot do a thing like that. He just lost his son a few months ago and he recently got married to his wife Chema. So how could this be possible? People slammed this lover for carrying fake news, but it didn't take a long time before the cat jumped out of the bag and everything got really messy. While we were trying to process these shocking allegations from the lady um from the Anita lady, another lady came out with evidence. This lady is from France and she claims she is also pregnant with David's child. I'm trying to do this and I'm freaking pregnant. And I see that's not enough for another Nigerian lady broke out and called out David. Oh my god. At this point I am just short of words. Just to clear you guys and tell you guys I'm also a victim of what is happening between this pregnancy saga and David o. I was once pregnant for David and he told me to and even if I come online that nobody's gonna listen to me because he has fans. At this point, at this point, the only person I feel for right now is Choma, who is also pregnant. Mind you guys, Choma recently lost her child a few months ago and all of this is happening. <laughs> they say patience is a virtue, but maybe for this one. Like, they say the patient dog is eat the fattest bone but not in this case Choma no one will ask you to stay or to leave your marriage with David o because you know what's good for you even if we are saying it clearly we can sniff it from our father that this marriage is not very okay it's not very conducive for you Choma is obviously too young for all this stress she's going through and one thing that people need to understand is that David clearly loves Choma yes I think so but he's incapable of staying committed he's incapable of being committed and I see no reason why you should get married if you know you cannot be committed I hear lots of people saying oh a rich man a wealthy man can never be committed to one woman can never stick with one woman see guys yes i've seen wealthy men who are married to one wife and they are really faithful and there are also cases where these wealthy men would have side chicks but they don't go about impregnating every girl on skirt or everything on skirt oh no this is beyond unfaithfulness this is like this is i don't know what to call this it's it's so annoying and to the side chicks guys this generation this new generation side chicks uh, they're not joking or if you have a husband if you have a home and you really want to secure your home um, pray for your husband and try as much as you can to protect your home because these side chicks are not smiling they 
are taking over homes they are taking over marriages they don't even care anymore so if possible huh, buy padlock and padlock your man's bola if he's going out <laughs> anyway guys the update of this whole gist is that um anita brown is making a u-turn it seems like the widow's fans have come fully for her it even appears that her account has been deactivated or taken down i don't know because i tried searching for her on instagram i couldn't get her real page so she dropped this on twitter she says i wish you all would stop calling my phone david o is not my child's father we don't want him in my life or my child's life he died <laughs> please get over it and move on please leave us alone guys you see these david o's die hard fans they have come for this girl and uh, they are really tormenting her that's why she had to put this out anyway guys um what do you think about this david do and his baby mama saga let me know in the comment section